Hello, Ashland University. I'm Katie Major, and I'm back with one burning question. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the move from the traditional Blackboard course view to the new streamlined Blackboard Ultra course view. Uh, many of us have been asking questions about Blackboard Ultra, and one that I received recently from a faculty member is, how do I change due dates in Blackboard Ultra, both on individual items and in terms of batch editing items for a new semester? So I'm going to go over that process today. Okay, so here is my sandbox course with some English composition items in it. So I'll show you how to first batch edit deadlines. So you land on the course content page when you open a class in Blackboard Ultra. To batch edit, you'll navigate to this ellipse directly opposite that course content title. The first option is to batch edit. Select that. And a menu opens that displays all the items in your class. Uh, you could select all. In this case, my due dates are kind of varying depending on item. Um, so anyway, I'll select all and just say, hey, I want to change everything. Edit dates is how you batch edit due dates. And then you have three options for how to edit them. You can use the number of days. You can change the dates based on when the new semester starts and you can change just to the specific due date and time that you'd like to use. So here, what you would do is you would put in the current start date and the start date that you would like, well, that the future semester would be that you're creating the course for. And then um, you would select edit dates. For this option, change dates by number of days, very simple. Um, you would just input the number of days you wanted to shift the course forward um, or backward if you wanted to do that for some reason. And then lastly, uh, this is the most detailed option, which is allowing you to change to a specific date and time. Uh, so it's telling me that if I haven't set a deadline for items, they will not assign a deadline. So that's important to note. Otherwise, this is a really nice option. It allows me to select when assignments will show, it allows me to select um, a due date and time, and I can even hide the assignments if I so wish. Um, you know, so if for some reason I wanted all of these assignments, let's say it's a single modules assignments to be due this Friday, uh, let's say 9 p.m. instead of a.m., and select edit date. All right, and then there we go. We can see that the dates have shifted accordingly. So returning to my main menu, uh, I can show you how to select a specific item and edit its due date as well. So for instance, if we click on this assignment, which is a sample, it will, it'll open the whole um, menu of details and we have this kind of edit panel over here or the settings panel. So we'll select the gear icon to edit the settings. And then the very first item that it allows you to change is the due date and the due time. And of course, below there are loads of other settings that you can personalize for each assignment. Thank you for joining us for another episode of One Burning Question. We will see you next week and around campus until then.